Hello my lovely SSMians, how are you guys doing? Today we are going to see how the coming week is going to be for you. So we have these three options over here. Option number one is this adorable laughing Buddha. Option number two is this set of sea fishes seahorse, dolphin and a shell and option number three is the selenite wand. So you can choose any option that you are drawn towards in case if you are confused uh, you can just close your eyes and uh, you can first take three pieces of paper, write in each piece of paper one, two and three. Just close your eyes and say, dear God, Goddess Archangels, how the coming week is going to be and pick up one piece of paper, whatever number comes on that piece of paper is going to be your pile. I always do that and I find it really very helpful. So let's get started with today's pick a card reading. Hello group one, how are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocking as always. So let's get started with today's pick a card reading with regards to how your coming week is going to be. So we have this beautiful laughing Buddha that you have chosen, which means that this week is going to be a lot of joyous and fun. You're somebody who tries to look at the silver lining of every dark cloud and you're trying your best to look in the blessing in every disguise that you face. That's what I'm hearing. Now let's see what your week looks like. The beginning of the week. The middle of the week. I feel that you're not being sleeping on time or your sleep patterns have been a little bit disturbed. So that's something that you really need to take care of. Okay, so in the beginning of the week, you have got the Eight of Cups, which means that you are going to walk away from something which is not going to serve you. You may decide to spend some time in solitude and contemplation. Also, there's a high probability that you will visit a spiritual place. There is a lot of letting go of smaller things for bigger things happening in the beginning of the week. The mid of the week you have got the ten of swords which means in the mid of the week you may feel as if you have hit the rock bottom however please understand that the only way from rock bottom is up and that's what is going to happen to you be careful somebody may try to betray you in the mid of the week be vigilant the end of the week you got the nine of swords which means you're going to worry unnecessarily you may have nightmares however do not worry i have recently posted a reel on how to overcome nightmares okay it's on instagram uh, do watch it all right and uh, i think it's if it is it will be released today or tomorrow most probably so do watch it as archangel michael reel and uh, Archangel Michael helps in overcoming nightmares as well. All right, so when I'm looking at your tarot cards, there are two sword cards, which means that it's important to be practical and logical during the week ahead. You have got a lot of letting go in, in the beginning of the week. So the overall energy that I'm seeing in these cards are that of, you know, uh, letting go. All right, because if you let go, you will move ahead. All right, now let's see what your angel cards are going to tell us. So I teach about angel cards in my angel guidance workshop. To know more, click on the link given in the pinned comment. I feel that <laughs> my fake nail keeps on coming out I'm so sorry I feel that you know uh, you have kind of faced uh, some sort of uh, betrayal in love or it could be also close relationships which were like you know very close to your heart let's see what your other cards are going to tell us Let's see all of these cards one by one. 
so you got strictly sexual okay so if you're single and if you meet someone this uh, week ahead or if you have already met someone it may be that it's not that deep okay uh, or it's just uh, it's more like you know it's not genuine or it's it's just fake all right if you're also looking for something like this then it's completely all right but whatever this connection is it's not going to stand the test of time all right so be vigilant uh if you are looking for a long-term commitment all right the ones who are married or in a committed relationship uh you may feel that you and your partner are not connecting at a deeper emotional level and uh, you are there is a lot of uh, superficiality around your relationship so you may want to kind of sit and uh, connect with each other also even though the emotional connect would be lacking the physical connect would be quite good okay so let's see your other cards you got to wait all right so this week contemplate get more information and then take action all right you've also got time to move on so whatever now you know it's interesting that you have got the eight of cups and you have got the time to move on card so it's time to let go of the old and worn out so that the new can come in which is what the eight of cups represents and please understand when you move on from something which is not going to serve you you tend to feel like you hit the rock bottom and you tend to be worried all right so that's the process so in the beginning of the week you may take a decision to walk away from something which will kind of you know emotionally be a little challenging you got pregnancy so there will be uh, for some of you you are going to be literally pregnant the ones you know for some of you not all of you for the others it the the weight and pregnancy card over here means that uh, there there is this new beginning that's going to happen in in your life but before that new beginning there is a pause all right pregnancy also means creativity you got love life so this week love life is going to be of importance the ones who are already in a relationship and committed it may so happen that you may have some fights in the week ahead so be calm don't just rush into action don't just remove all that frustration out on your partner and on yourself take some time wait move on and then connect with your partner all right so this is what your oracle cards are telling us now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group 1 and let me spin the wheel for you you have got soon so what have you asked for the answer is soon all right group 1 i hope you enjoyed this pick a card reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel if you're guided and this week on your request i had done a reading and i was so happy to do it the reading was on what the angels want you to know so please do watch that and also i am there on instagram where i share every day on my instagram stories how the day is going to be from monday to friday some glimpses from my personal life and um, certain rituals for that particular day all right so take care of yourself bye bye hello group 2 how are you guys doing i hope you are fine and rocking as always today we are going to see how your coming week is going to be so you have chosen this beautiful sea uh, creatures sea horse dolphin and shells uh so clearly you are going to have an abundant week ahead also you will have a lot of uh telepathy happening in the week ahead a lot of synchronization happening some of you may visit uh, a water body or a place where there is nature and water body all right now let's see what your cards are going to tell us I'm hearing the color red. Beginning of the week, mid of the week, end of the week. The color represents the color red represents passion, growth, root chakra as well. Okay. Oh wow! <laughs> This is what I love about pick a card reading. So red 
represents action okay and you got the page of wands card which is all about action and adventure and going ahead you're going to receive a news in the beginning of the week that is going to pump you up you're going to be so excited full of adventure and action all right the middle of the week you have got the hanged man which means you're going to let go uh you're going to if something is not working out you'll have to kind of take a very different approach to resolve it also creativity is going to be very very high you will have to think out of the box in the middle of the week the end of the week you again got the knight of wands which means again a lot of action travel adventure there will be a young person who is going to play a very important role in the entire week especially in the during the beginning and the end of the week also with the knight of wands card ensure that you are not getting swayed away uh, you know with emotions you're going to you need to be calm down you need to calm down and kind of process the situation the event and then respond all right you got two one cards which means it's the, the week ahead is full of action and adventure also the week a lot of one two one cards can also mean that you may have anger issues so ensure that you are uh, calming yourself down all right let's see the you need to work with archangel shamuel in the week ahead who is the archangel of peace as well all right i teach about different archangels and how you can work with them in my upcoming angel guidance workshop there are pre recorded workshop to know more details about the workshop and the earlier participants experiences click on the link given in the pin comment okay All right, let's see your cards. I feel that some of you uh, are, you know, your head looks seems to be very heavy. Okay, let's see your cards one by one. Boundaries. So. With regards to your love life, you really need to demarcate boundaries. Not only love life, in your relationships as well, because at times people take advantage of your niceness and they kind of overstep in your territory. So ensure that you are having firm boundaries, and when you want to say a no, please say a no. All right. Let's your next card connect with nature. I did tell you with your options over here that this week looks like you are to be you are going to be very connected with nature. So take some time out and spend outdoors. This can really help you to kind of broaden your horizons. And when you go in nature, you heal. You got patience, and again, not surprising with two one cards. One card, one card. The energies are going to be very high, and you may feel impulsive. You will also feel aggressive, so and restless. So be patient. All right, take one thing at a time. That's going to be very, very important. Okay, self-employment. The ones who are in business, you are going to be surrounded with magical opportunities, especially in the beginning and the end of the week. The ones who are in corporate uh, will kind of think about exploring. Uh, you know, uh, they, you will think about. Will you will contemplate about having uh, opportunities in business? You will explore it. All right. The ones who are homemakers, the one who are, the ones who are. Uh, you know a student you or a retired person you are going to kind of benefit from somebody who has a business all right set your sights higher so this week don't put yourself down all right not only this week you should never put yourself down expect more all right expect more from yourself expect more from others but don't act entitled Many a times, when you start expecting more from others, we act in an entitled way. All right, so don't do that. Understand your boundaries as well. 
and other people's boundaries as well and you need to respect both of it all right so an interesting week ahead now let's see what your tarot uh, what the wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group two and let me spin the wheel for you you got so it went to miracle it went back to no and again back to miracle which means whatever you asked for it will look like it's going to happen and then it will pause and then it will happen again all right so that's what your cards are telling us group two group two i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button to subscribe to my channel and also uh, i have this angel guidance workshop in which you can learn how to connect with angels and have an amazing year ahead the link to the workshop is given in the pinned comment. You can click on it to the early participants experiences as well. All right, group two, take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Hello, group three. How are you guys doing? I hope you're fine and rocking as always. So you have chosen this beautiful selenite wand, which means clearly a lot of clearing and divine connect is going to happen in this week. You'll find yourself decluttering, you'll find yourself uh, spending time doing spiritual activities as well. Now let's see your tarot cards. Beginning of the week. Mid of the week. I'm kind of hearing the word rainbow. End of the week. So it's a great probability that in this week ahead, you will kind of see rainbows at the same time uh, there would be some unexpected positive events happening you got the six of swords in the beginning of the week which means you're going to move away all right uh, you're going to be in transit you're going to leave something which is not working for you towards something which is working for you you'll move towards better times also with this card with the six of swords some of you may travel as well, uh, not surprising near a water body or towards a spiritual place as well. Okay. The mid of the week, you have got the Knight of Swords, which means you will be high in energy. Do not break rules. Do not drive rashly. Walk carefully as well. Don't be impulsive and control your emotions. You will find yourself wanting to break rules. To be uh, See, being revolutionary is great. But at the same time, being, um, being completely, you know, uh, mad, uh, revolutionary does not make sense. Okay, you need to have your thoughts organized. Like if you are wanting to do a revolution, it should, it should not be an aggressive revolution, all right? It should be somewhere wherein everybody is kind of, you know, uh, most of the people are benefiting, okay? The end of the week, you have got the king of swords. Interestingly, you have got all sword cards, which means the week ahead, you need to be practical, logical, and keep your anger in control, keep your words in control as well. You got Knight of Swords and King of Swords, two court cards, which means other people are going to have an influence on your week ahead. Do not let anybody trigger you. Okay. Uh, now, at the end of the week, you you are going to be very very practical. You're going to do a lot of paperwork as well formalities. Some of you may meet someone or uh, who has a lot of authority and figure things out. Also, a very wise person is going to guide you at the uh, end of the week. The middle of the week, you may find yourself handling somebody young and trying to calm them down as well. Now, let's see what your oracle cards are going to tell us. It would be a great idea if you work with uh, Archangel Raphael as well to kind of bring in that healing energy since the week looks so, so sharp. Okay. I teach how you can work with different angels in the upcoming angel guidance workshop. Also, how you can heal your emotions with Archangel Raphael. To know more details, click on the link given the pinned comment of, of the workshop. Okay, and this card is calling out. All right, let's see all the cards one by one. 
practice practice and practice so this whole week it would be a great idea if you put in a lot of efforts and that's what the energy of the cards is as well because sword card means action all right keep your emotions aside and practice practice do not give up you got children so children you, you may find yourself uh taking care of other people's children babysitting them if your life purpose revolves around children by teaching parenting or working with them in some way this week to it's it's really going to be very very important also it's important that you give nurturing energy to your inner child as well you got spiritual teachers a lot of spiritual lesson happening this week some of you may meet your spiritual teacher or if you are yourself a spiritual teacher you may be uh, you know busy with practicing your uh, skill set all right and also uh, if you are a spiritual teacher and if you have been trying to have a child or if you have been worried about your children or if you're a teacher and you're worried about your children do not worry keep on giving your best and things will start to look right okay this is this is a message for few of you okay you got to pay attention again with the knight of swords cards i'm not surprised because knight of swords is an energy wherein you're reckless that's why i got the pay attention card all right you got to make a wish so yes this week a wish is going to get fulfilled even if it is a small wish be grateful because when you acknowledge every small miracle you multiply it you got retreat so again with the 6 of swords card i'm not surprised you may find yourself spending some time alone or in nature so that you feel more recharged and you have your thoughts more organized this week i also feel you're going to remove lot of unnecessary energy out of your life as well now let's see what your wheel of fortune is going to tell us so think about a question group 3 and let me spin the wheel for you you have got trust so trust that everything will work out all right don't think that you are alone and facing all this challenges in your life all by yourself god is with you and god is holding your hand all right group 3 i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i did if you did do hit the like button subscribe to my channel if you are guided also uh if you want to know more details about the angel guidance workshop and how we can make a life better with the angels the link is given in the pin comment i'm there on instagram as well we're on instagram stories i share of interesting thing you can follow me there as well and if you see the description column all amazing free rituals that really work and have and have helped many not all but many the links are given you can click on them go through the comments as well and follow them if you are guided all right take care bye bye